Hello guys and gals, welcome to another episode of the OrthoWire podcast. Today we're going to be updating a video of the Zebra Retainer pattern, the one-step design uh, that I taught Ivan how to do and he's perfected, so let me show you what he can do. Ivan, the master at work. Making it nice and thick. So he makes it nice and thick so that in the grinding process you'll grind off that top layer anyway and you'll grind down to where the, the middle of the, the depth of the trench is so you get a nice sharp definition between the two colors and that way you can do this uh, in one step and he makes it uh, the top surface dry as possible so that it will be able to carve like this and the walls won't slump in on you. Make the same pattern on every mm -hmm. mouth, but you got to change it because every mouth is different. So do you try to do the same number of stripes? Mm -hmm. No. No, just whatever fits. So Mighty Ivan, the man of few words, um, what he means is he uses the same size tool every time, so the trenches are the same size. So pretty much, no matter what size the mouth is, if there's a bigger mouth, it has gonna have more stripes. Uh, and he just makes them the same distance apart from each other, so that there's a ends up being a red stripe, black stripe, red stripe, black stripe, so on and so forth. Okay, starting on the other side. Notice he hadn't put the second color in those trenches yet. He is going to wait until he's done carving the trenches on this side. That does two things. One keeps the trenches on the first side dry and what I mean by that is stiff where they won't fall in on themselves and then uh, he then he the second thing is he can connect the pattern to this side and it looks like he's done it all in one technique good music for doing this mm -hmm. salsa, salsa. Now another reason for putting that clear polymer on there is to help soak up the excess monomer. And again, this will help keep it from slumping. Slumping is your enemy when doing a pattern in one step. So he keeps adding. You notice he added a little bit there because he saw that as the monomer, the excess monomer will soak up that, that extra powder and it'll turn wet. And he's like, okay, I gotta I gotta add some more powder here, or else, you know, this my trenches here are gonna start slumping. Uh, so that's one of the reasons for using the clear powder on top. Okay, as he's connecting his stripes together and cleaning out the trenches, here's a little tip. If you're using monomer, notice we're using two polymer colors. If you use two monomer colors or uh, one monomer color, make sure you allow a little more drying time to each side before you apply the second color. Uh, that way there'll be less blending of the two colors, especially if you're using two monomer colors. Okay, he's adding the second color. Notice he uses just real smooth uh, motions. He's almost putting the tip in the trench uh, to get just smooth powder, try not to trap any air bubbles. Using this method, you will trap some that you might have to repair. Uh, but I uh, just notice he's just being real careful. Make sure the tips of your nozzles on your bottles are clean. Uh, that way you don't get any spraying involved on the sides. And uh, You'll notice that uh, Ivan's trying to keep the colors separate. Uh, even though I said before you're going to be grinding this top layer off, uh, he's still trying to keep them separate. Uh, just keeping the pattern uniform and then he's going to come back when he thinks he's got enough black in, in the trenches he's going to fill in any shallow spots with clear monomer kind of give it a clear coat uh, he'll grind away the clear stuff he doesn't need and then the stuff he does need will stay clear and, and will reflect the pattern 
through it. Alright, finishing up. Here is the finished product. Uh, you'll notice a little bit of uh, stone on the surface. Uh, I took these pictures before I cleaned it. Uh, but you'll notice it, it's great pattern. One step. It only takes some, a few minutes extra than doing one color and you get to charge more for it. So if you have uh, any questions, uh, feel free to email me at retainerdesigner.com or visit 